Cheese, where would we be without cheese? There are so many different types of styles, textures and flavours out there. The market can be somewhat confusing. The question is though, have you ever tasted anything raw? Well today I'm reviewing a really fantastic dairy company that have raw in the very backbone of their production methods and the consequence are the most phenomenal dairy products which they produce. Today I'm using their butter and their milk to cook a really traditional yet umptious bread and butter pudding. Hello fellow foodies, my name's Dom of the Foodie Kitchen Review. This is the channel where we review the most authentic and delicious food products and give you the recipes and inspiration you can use in your very own kitchen at home. If you're new to my channel, it would be amazing if you could hit that like button and if you could subscribe, the more content coming your way very soon. I'm so excited about this cheese. So let's dive straight in and find out more. Thank you for joining me. Today I am reviewing Fen Farm Dairy. A bit more about them. They are run by the Crickmore family which are a farming family that go back about three generations. They always were traditional dairy farmers selling their milk to the supermarkets and are based in the Waveney Valley in Suffolk. But in 2011, they built this garden shed and they started to sell their raw unpasteurized milk to the public. And it went down a storm there was a real increase for demand and they could see the potential. Then they thought, how could we make really good cheese with our lovely milk? So they went over to France and they scouted out the best cheese makers in France and they found themselves in southern France in the Jura region, which coincidentally make a really tasty white wine, so you should check it out and they thought, we're gonna make a raw milk brie. And then they started to produce the only traditional raw brie de mer style in the UK. And here we have a farmer making their own cheese on the farm, which doesn't happen all that too often. So they bought herds of Montbelliard cows, who I said that correctly, in 2013 and they launched their first raw milk brie, the Baron Bygod. A creamy white rind cheese with a silky texture with almost those mushroom farmyard flavours coming through. Pretty interesting story so far, right? Now I'm no cheese maker, but I'm going to attempt to explain how this Baron Bygod is made. So the cows are milked very early in the morning and then these mould cultures are added to this lovely more warm milk. Then the rennet is added and then these curds are hand ladled into large moulds. These large moulds are then put in a cave-like environment and left to age up to eight weeks. So that's the cheese. Moving on to their butter. Fen Farm Dairy is very close to Bungie, which is a very quaint English small market town in the county of Suffolk, UK. And there stands a butter cross that has been there for about 300 years. The legend goes that all that time ago you'd have the dairy farmers that would congregate outside this butter cross and sell their beautiful dairy products to the lovely people of Bungie. How is this lovely butter made, I hear you ask? Well, it's made by souring cream using lactic bacteria. Then it's churned and hand paddled using butter hands made from wood. This butter is used widely. It's supplying the UK's leading bakeries to produce their beautiful baked goods. Before the cheese and the butter though, comes the milk. Now this is completely raw and pasteurised milk and Fen Farm Dairy have a real strong focus and emphasis on how they look after their cows. I didn't know this but milk is actually very fragile 
So then the production methods with the pumping and the churning, etc., that can actually damage the milk. So they take the utmost care to treat it with the respect it deserves. Right, so now the fun part, we're going to taste this beautiful cheese and butter and milk. Here we go, let's have a taste. That flavour is incredibly natural. It's pretty fresh, you know, um, and it just tastes like it should. It tastes like a raw brie. Um, and I love brie, and you know, brie is incredibly popular, and you know, a lot of people want brie, but this is a fantastic, fantastic version and really they have taken the best quality milk they can and they have reduced something that really gives that milk because that's essentially what it is, it is milk and they've given it that beautiful flavour. You know, it has that soft rind, has a bit of creaminess inside, has that beautiful flavour of brie and I can almost, it's, it, it sounds a bit weird but I can, you know, sort of taste that lovely raw milk as well. And the thing is, this is still quite a young cheese, and you know, when, yeah, so when I look on the back of it, it's like the 2nd of August, so it's got another couple of months to go, you know? You can leave this in the fridge and it'll get super, super gooey. Um, so wow, really, really love this. Next, I'm going to move on to the butter. I'm super excited to taste this butter, just looking at it, it just looks so, so rich and so lush and I just know it's going to taste amazing. Mmm, that's so, it's so silky and so rich and just, you know, has a really nice concentration. Um, and that's, you know, so that's the difference really, if you have, have something like this, this is just raw natural butter and it oozes that flavour. Um, really, really delicious. Really, really impressed by this butter and I am very excited to be using this in my recipe today. Last one I'm going to review is where it all started, the milk. Now I have, have tasted this milk before, I have had a bit of my tea which is a bit of a treat. I'm just going to pour a little bit to taste now. Um, and you know this, I mean this is such such a lovely story really because um, when you know a bit about the Provence and about the production and everything like that and the story behind the brand, this isn't just milk, you know, this is really, really special milk and it's unpasteurized, it's raw. And um, this was delivered a few days ago and I just opened up this milk straight away and had a little swig and I thought, wow. I've never tasted milk like this before, you know? Because it's so um, so rich and creamy. I don't know how healthy it is, but I don't care about that stuff. I, I'm just, here it's, it's, you know, it's about the flavor. And when you taste something so natural and so delicious, you think, wow, this is great. And you know what? This milk and this butter is going to make the most amazing bread and butter pudding, which I'm excited about. Anyway, anyway. I'm getting off the subject. Um, yeah, if really, really impressed. The, the cheese, the butter, the milk is great. And you know what? When I spoke to Johnny Crickmore, who is running the farm with his family, um, you know, I had a good, really good chat with Johnny on the phone, and he just had so much passion. And, you know, he talked and talked and talked about the technicalities and the detail of these, of his products. And I thought, wow. And that's when you know someone's super passionate about a business, when they can just talk about something at great length and they know everything about it. Now I'm going to step into the kitchen and I'm going to cook quite a classical, traditional, but super tasty bread and butter pudding, which I think you're going to absolutely love. Here we are in the kitchen. Now comes the exciting part, the really delicious bread and butter pudding. 
Here are my ingredients. We've got about eight slices of bread. We have about 10 grams of some orange peel. We have 50 grams of currants. We have the beautiful raw butter. We have four eggs, some nutmeg, and some lemon. We have 275 mils of the Fen Farm Dairy raw milk and 60 mils of cream. First off, we're going to butter our bread. I'm now going to put these into halves and then into quarters. You can then grease the bowl. And I'm going to layer about half of this bread in. I'm now going to sprinkle in the orange peel. And about half of these currants. Then the rest of the bread will go in. And the rest of the currants. Next we're going to add the cream and milk together. And we're going to add some lemon zest into this. We can also tip our sugar in. We can then whisk up our eggs and add our cream mixture. Pour this on. Then we grate our nutmeg over. This is then baked for 30 to 40 minutes in a 180 degree oven. This pudding has been in for about 35 minutes. I checked it after half an hour and it was still quite soft and spongy. Just gave it a few more minutes just so it get a little bit crispy on top. So now I'm gonna take it out of the oven. It smells absolutely amazing. The nutmeg and spice you get from that is incredible. And you can see it's just kind of puffed up a little bit, which is really amazing. Whilst that's cooling down, I just want to talk a little bit about why I cook this bread and butter pudding today. I feel these recipes are very, you know, traditional, quite quaint, and they are really, really lovely and very simple when done well. You don't need to go crazy and put in loads of different exotic, mad flavours. You can just keep it very, very natural. And really, this is what it's about. You've got amazing quality butter and milk, We've got some lovely raisins in there, we've got some orange peel, 
we've got some nutmeg on top and these are really lovely flavours. And I have to say as well, this isn't actually my recipe. This is a recipe from a lovely Delia Smith. She's put in her book, you know, this is a really traditional recipe that I've used a lot and I, I looked through and I, I really like the look of it. So I can't claim this is mine. I did add in one extra egg just to make it a little bit richer. Um, I'm gonna let this cool down and then we'll plate it up. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed my bread and butter pudding. I've seriously enjoyed reviewing Fen Farm Dairy's products today. And when you go into a little bit of the history and the heritage behind this brand, I think it's truly sensational. I'm going to put a link below. If you'd like to try any for yourselves, I'd strongly recommend it. The butter, the cheese, and the milk are something else. It would be amazing as well if you could leave me a comment. I'd really love to know your favorite type of cheese and how you best enjoy eating it. And until next time, fellow foodies, keep cooking.